Once we've created a layout, we can move on to size the ducts correctly. Because we have a comprehensive building information model, building information model, the analysis functionality for the duct sizing is built in. I first select the ducts just created, and then I'll select the function within the software to size them. I'll set the sizing method as well as other analysis parameters, and then say OK. Notice, this is hard to see, but when I do this, the duct sizes adjust slightly based on the analysis. One thing to note is that the model has to have access to additional information to perform this analysis. In this case, the model knows, needs to know what size ducts are available and valid. Here I'm bringing up the list of available duct sizes. The analysis knows that only the checked duct sizes can be selected, as these are the only ones actually available. 